everybody. Welcome to Alicia today. So today we're going to talk about sublimating glass um, tumblers and or water bottles. So if you're interested in watching me um, for the first time sublimate frosted glass, um, this these colors I'm going to do today will be orange, but I do have other colors, then stay tuned. All right, let's get into it. All right, so the things that you will need for this is you'll need your glass frosted sublimation tumblers. You'll need some heat tape. You'll need whatever design that you're going to be using. Um, make sure that you size them correctly. So I already pre-measured all of these to make sure that they will fit the um, tumblers. And then you will need, in this case, I'm going to be using this sublimation, uh, or I shouldn't say sublimation, this convection oven in order to complete the sublimation process. So what you want to do is to turn your um, convection oven on. I put mine on convection oven. And then I put this to 360, and I have it start so that I can prep everything before I begin. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to wrap each one of the glass tumblers. Make sure you have your design on the right direction. You just want to line it up, so especially if you have words on it, so that everything is lined up correctly. So once you have that done, then you could tape it. Make sure you're using the heat tape. or any tape that is able to go into the sublimation or into the heating source that you're using, be it a mug press, tumbler press, convection oven, just make sure the tape you're using works with it. Okay, so that's one. Second one. So I'm putting it up just to make sure that it's going all the way down and it's even across the bottom before I tape it. So I, I always try to have like pieces of tape already ready to go so that I don't have to be scrambling to be like, oh, I have it in place, and then to find out that I didn't have the tape ready, and then I have to kind of start all over. So. You can remember to always prep your stuff, your tape, before you start and make it that much easier. Okay. So now I'm just double checking one more time just to make sure that everything's on there evenly. Looks good to me. Alright, so that's telling you that it's ready. 
So I'm trying to decide, should I put it in there with some shrink wrap on it, or if I should just put it in there just like this? I think I might just put it like there, like this, and then we'll see how it goes. Um, if, this, if I need shrink fill, then we'll, we can try it a different way, but let's just see how it goes if you just wrap it with the sublimation paper and then just put it in there directly. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I want to make sure that I have my heat resistant gloves on. So this is another thing that you want to make sure you have, especially if you're using a sublimation oven. So I'm going to put both of these in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake it for six minutes. at 360 degrees and then at the three minute mark I am going to then flip them over so that I'm able to make sure it's kind of like sublimating um, the whole design getting even temperature. So while we're waiting for the three minute mark I wanted to talk to you guys about what um, I use to make the uh, image. So I use HTV Rant sublimation paper, HTV Rant sublimation ink, and I have an Eco Tank. Uh, it's ET2803, and that's what I use to print out the images. And then I just basically tape measure around the tumbler that I'm using or water bottle that I'm using and get the measurements and then I put my uh, measurements into Microsoft Word. I upload, I should say I upload or import uh, my image into Microsoft Word and then I adjust the size of my image based on the measurements I took off of that specific tumbler. Um, a good way to do this is if you just make files specifically for those size tumblers, you can name it like this one will be my 18 ounce plastic tumblers or um, you know something like that so that you can keep track of the sizes so that way um, you can do it that way or you can write them down in a notebook so that you have them um, when you sublimate again, so you don't have to keep reinventing, re reinventing the wheel. Um, I wanted to also say that the tumblers that I'm using, um, so one of them right here, I don't know if you can see this, it is 17 ounces, so that 17 ounce one is the water bottle one, so the one that has like the screw top, I don't know if you saw me take it off, but this one is the glass and it has like a screw top for the way. And then the other one was an 18 ounce and it was basically a bamboo top. So let me show you that. So it looks like this. If you guys just wanted to know what the sizes of the tumblers. And they're both like an orange color. One is like a darker orange color and the other one's a lighter orange color. Okay, so we're getting to the three minute mark, so once it gets there, I'm going to flip it around. All right, and then we will go from there. So I'll get back to you guys when it's done, and then we'll unwrap them together. Okay, so I took them out because I noticed that the bottom is not really, like, if you look at the paper, it's not really touching it. And I don't know if it's going to get the design on there. So I'm not, I don't know if it's just not tight or, oh, it looks like the tape came off. Let's see. So that's what happened. It looks like the tape. So what I'm going to do is, since it seems like the tape is not on there well, I am going to actually put 
one of the shrink films on there for the simple fact that it looks like if you don't have it on there tight enough, it will the tape will come off, and we don't want that. So hopefully it doesn't mess this tumbler up. So I'm going to try to kind of keep it where it is. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in here because I don't want this to mess up. Hopefully it doesn't mess up. So we'll see you guys. Oh, it's hot. So when I'm trying to put it in there, it's not laying the right. You see, it's already kind of like folding up on itself. I can get in there without messing already. Yeah, it's melting on there. I would have to wait for it to cool off and look at So, this other one looks like it might be okay. I took it out too soon, I think. So what I'll do is let me let these cool down, and then we're going to put them in the shrink wrap. Um, and then we're going to do it over. So I'm gonna, I'm not going to um, take this off. I'm literally just going to put the, sh the shrink film on them and then put them right back in there. So I'll get back to you once it's cooled down. All right, so the things that I've cooled down enough for me to be able to. So I'm going to try not to waste this one, so I'm going to put it where it kind of starts to melt, so that hopefully I'm able to still use it. Because I don't like to waste things. Okay, so let's see this one. I'm still going to And this one, I think the one that's like the water bottle that has the screw top, I think you probably should put um, some shrink film anyways because of how the shape is. At least this one is kind of straight up and down. This one kind of has like a different shape to it. Okay, so, try this again. <laughs> It won't take too long for it to heat back up because it just I just turned it off. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you. So now that I do have them in the shrink film. Um, the kind I use, I believe these ones are five by eleven. Okay, so there it goes. So now we're gonna put these in. So I'm gonna hold this one up so that I can start. Okay, same with this one. So this time I'm not going to worry about flipping it now that it has the film on it. I'm going to put it on, I'll put it on four minutes only because I don't want to bake it too long and mess up the color. So hopefully it will be okay. Um, so this time I will get back to you guys with the finished product and hopefully it turns out beautiful. Okay. All right, so they're about to come out. So like I've done in previous videos, I take off that shrink wrap film as soon as I take it out because it seems to, like if you don't take it out soon enough, it gets really um, hard and it gets harder to take off from whatever you're sublimating. So that's what we're about to do right now. 
So there's one. I'll do this one first. We do not want you to skip. Alright, see some of it's already trying to stick on the glass and we do not want that. So we get this off glass. I'm pretty sure you could probably still get it off once it but I don't want to take the chance. So I have this like a little piece on the top that I'm trying to get, but I don't want to focus on that one. So I think I got most off. So let me get this one too. I'm trying to find like the little line. Let's take it over here. Oh, it's all the way to the bottom. Okay, and it's hot. So please make sure you have your heat gloves or heat resistant gloves. See how it gets stuck on the glass, the top? So I'm trying to not have that so long because I feel like if it stays too long on there, you might have a harder time than when it's already hot to get it off of there. So I'm trying to get that off because like I said, this is my first time and I don't know if anybody else has these issues. Okay. So I'm just using my nails. I'm not touching it with my hands. There we go. All right. So for the reveal, okay, so this one right here is the 18 ounce bamboo top. All right, let's see how this turns out. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That came out beautiful, you guys. What do you guys think? That's beautiful. I actually like this type of um, sublimation. It's just a unique look to it. All right, so this one right here is the screw cap one. They call it a water bottle, and this is 17 ounces. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take my glove off so I get this tape. Oh, that was beautiful too. Okay, so yes. So I had a I had an error when I didn't put the shrink film, but I was able to just put it right back into the oven. I didn't put it in for, there for long, and look, beautiful. I thought it was going to be ghosting at the bottom, but since I ended up putting that um, that shrink film on there to make sure, it turned out great. All right. So I would suggest, in my case to put the shrink film or shrink wrap onto these tumblers, these glass frosted um, tumblers for sublimation just to make sure that your design is touching the whole entire blank. Um, because like I said, when I noticed it, it looked like it was barely like tight on the bottoms and towards the tops. All right, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will be back with you guys with more videos. Stay blessed.